Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. So, I'm a day late, but we're still going to be going into Point Hope and doing the weekly. But first, I want to say thank you for 250 subscribers. I still can't believe it. Sometimes I look on there, and we just got from like 248 or 249, and now it's 255. So it's it's crazy when I go on there and I see so many more subscribers. So, thank you all so much, and I'm just going to keep going on and on. And I still have a lot more to do with this game, like getting into these weeklies. So another thing, I wanted to say thank you to the Gliding Glacier also as well for telling me to do shorts. I think that's another reason why this channel is growing a bit more, so hopefully the channel will get out there a bit further in the future. So the only thing we're missing here is the temperature and the EMF, but everything else here, we have something, at least tier 1. Some, we have a tier 3 light, which this is the paparazzi challenge, so of course we have the brightest lights possible and the biggest of cameras. So the thing is, we're on point hope. And we don't have smudges or san sanity. So I'm going to be taking this lantern to try and preserve my sanity. And then we only need to get the ghosts tight. So I'm going to just take my big light and then maybe just walk around with the camera to begin with. Like a paparazzi. And then also with my big uh, flashlight. But I need to conserve my sanity. So let's start walking around. I can't do my lighter or my thermometer strategy. Let me light this. But I can't do my thermometer stride I've been doing lately to try and figure out what floor to find the ghost on. So instead, we'll, we will take the lantern around, just not the thermometer. Alright, I'm getting in here. I've got a spot here at least, so I can run to the front. Now the breaker is on the second floor, the kitchen. Maybe I'll turn on some lights around here, but with the lantern I should be alright. I don't know if I want to mess with the cursed item or not either. Okay, see, so we got hiding spots, so maybe this won't be too bad of a challenge. I'm surprised with how many evidence we have. We only don't have the temperature and the EMF, which is kind of sad. Whoa. I guess I'm just not used to this light in here. Oh, that's why, because the blood moon's gone, and it's just, I'm not used to the normal lighting. Okay, well, God, I, I don't, I just don't remember such a white light in this room. Wow, and see, that's such a strange thing. Were these, like, more yellow before, or were they always just so white? I don't know. But, I do... I do think the only thing, or the only real way to find the ghost here... Is that a bone? No, it's not. I'm gonna have to just, like, wait and see my breath. So maybe I should just use my own breath as the thermometer. I can't get over that. Is this light different than before, or do I just really not remember Point Hope? I remember these lights being yellow. I swear they were more yellowy in here. Well... I don't want to turn them all on. Oh, that, why did that scare me so bad? That was the breaker. Now, I don't have... Or or was it the breaker? Okay, it was. Yes, I can't tell colors that close, I guess. But it's not a gin, I guess. Maybe we should put that in there since we don't have all evidence. No way. Do you hear? I thought it was coming down the stairs hunting. Oh my god. I'm sorry if I just like got y'all scared or something, but I swear I just heard stomping on the stairs, but maybe I'm just going crazy. Everything in here looks like it's kind of glowing a little bit. Well, alright, I'm going to walk through, check each floor a little bit. I don't know about a cursed item. I'm going to leave the, the lights on. This lantern luckily does last forever. Now, it won't keep all my sanity, but I should be alright for a bit. Nothing back here. Weird noises. Give us a sign. I wonder if even there is a cursed item. I guess I still need to check a couple more floors. Please don't give me a shade like the first time here. Give me something that's gonna tell me where it is. I'm not seeing my breath in any of these rooms either. Is that on? No, that's just like... No. Some, oh my god, what is happening with this game? Let me listen. I don't think anything's happening. There's a bone. I will pick this up. I guess these just have like a little ambient glow for some reason. No hiding spot. Oh boy. Let me check up here if I can see my breath. Oh, oh, okay. 
Uh, well, at least we know where the ghost is. I can check for ghost orbs pretty easily. Okay, ghost orbs. We're gonna have a mimic every time I see ghost orbs. That's why I like want to come for them immediately. All right. So getting hunted is probably not gonna be a big part of this. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go back down and bring the evidence stuff I need. I wish I had the headlamp, but of course I don't. I'm not gonna worry about getting any more lights on. I don't think I'll need them. And hopefully since we're on point hope, I can just hug the wall and make my way down the stairs if I get hunted. Yeah, here we are again at the bottom of Point Hope. So yeah, you know, I've been seeing more people kind of say Point Hope like no one wanted to do Point Hope during the Blood Moon. So I don't know. I kind of like it, but it's growing on me. But yeah, I hate going from the top down to the bottom. Now, Sanity. See? Looking good on Sanity. That's the main thing here in Blowout of Firelight was a challenge. So I'm going to have time to look for other evidence. No salt. And also, man, it's in a room without a door. So... I mean, I'm gonna have to maybe get hunted and just hope it touches doors during a hunt. I'm gonna have to get everything else. So then let's set up dots. I really can't get over these white lights. I swear they were more yellow before and now they're white, but maybe I'm just giving myself fake memories. I swear Point Hope had a like yellow look to it, but I don't know. Maybe we should close this door though. Yeah, luckily I had some lights on, so maybe I'm not draining my sanity coming through this part of the tower. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to turn on any more in case breakers get busted out. I'm going to turn on one more here, though, just so I know kind of what floor I'm on if I get stuck. Now let's run up through these floors. Oh, oh god. I could be using this as a flashlight as strange it is, as it is. I'm not going to turn on any of these hallway lights, but I am going to turn on this one. Just so I can see my way down the stairs. Luckily, I could just use that light to help me in this room. Now, I want to get that lantern back on as quick as possible. And of course, we're dealing with the tier 1 dots, which I kind of hate. I might have to stand with the dots pin. Are you here? <laughs> okay, hold on. Give me my light. I'm going to drop that. Are you here? Are you friendly? I can't tell if it's responding or not. Are you here? Hold on. Are you here? Are you friendly? You're right here. Are you close? Are you far? Are you here? Come on, give me that X at least. So where can I stand with this to where I'm definitely gonna get a Dots ghost? What are those noises? That sounded awful. It sounded like a weird laugh. Okay, I thought the breaker... Maybe that was my light. That's what it was, it was this. Does I have good... Uh, like the lantern in the tier 3 uh, lighter. Are you here? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm trying to get my nerves back here. I don't think I, this is going to be spirit box. Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Let me drop this. Oh, it doesn't seem like a bay. Hmm. Okay, maybe... I don't know if I want to go back or not. I could go back and leave this here. Could it be right? Okay. It could be writing. What did you just do? Just throw something random? Okay, now I don't like my sanity. Uh, let's leave that then. The only other thing is UV. So getting hunted. That's an event. I think. It has to be. Lights aren't flashing. And he's invisible. Oh, that was awful. He just pushed me to like run away. The only other thing is UV, and then, like, I'm gonna have to get hunted. I don't think it's a Fae, because it probably would have been way more crazy. And Raiju, I don't really know, because of my sanity. These other ones are really hard to tell. This is... What a two-evident scenario. Well, we do have the EMF meter in the truck, but <laughs> getting an EMF-5 and then coming back in time, that's not gonna happen. So... Oh, not many of these you can really test, I mean, by getting hunted. I, for Nightmare, that's such a crazy thing if you get those two evidence. I mean, it, could it be a Mimic if it's Dots? Mimic does not have Dots, so it's not going to be a Mimic. Okay, getting close to that hunt range. I guess I'm just going to end up getting hunted this time when we go back in, and then maybe if it goes down far enough, it'll touch a door. But it, we got it kind of lucky, and we can say it's not Spirit Box, so that doesn't help at all, of course. Well... Did it get rid of something? Yeah, I got rid of Yokai. 
Well, maybe it's not spirit box, and maybe we'll rule out riding, which would leave these two. Rides you will tell if it speeds up. Mm -hmm. On the other ones, though, well, Fey as well, but these two are normal speed, so... I guess I'll just go in with UV, and then there's nothing else that'll really help me, so... I mean, maybe I can just take another lantern to conserve my sanity. The thing about this challenge is, like, once you lose your sanity, it's, you're kind of done for. <laughs> you're gonna start getting hunted. Because I have no way of getting it back, unless I have tarot cards, which I don't have. Is this off? Or is that... Okay, no, this is just off. I didn't think it hunted me at some point. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you get lucky with the two evidence. I mean, we know it's not a mimic, at least. I didn't know if I heard something again. What? Did they add more messed up noises to Point Hope or something? I swear I don't remember these. I'm not going to hit that. What I'm going to try and do when I get hunted is just run down as far as I can. And I'm going to come back with the UV and check for UV on any of these. Yes, it could be UV too. <laughs> the only problem is... I'm pretty much expecting to get hunted here. What is this? Oh, this is a little spray bottle, okay. I just wish we had more ghosts that could be easily t told from. Oh, you know what? What the hell was that? Uh, and that is a singing ghost event. Should I just have you drain my sanity? Okay, let's walk downstairs. I should be pretty much in hunt range. I need to like at least think about what I'm doing here. I don't have a smudge or anything. I'm gonna have to just rely on <laughs> my light to tell me where I'm going and my own ability to survive. But I'm pretty sure they can bang on these signs. And there's another sign up there he could bang on, but I don't think he's banged on anything yet. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I, I, lights. See, it is a banshee, okay. Well, that's nice. At least I did find the evidence. It wasn't like EMF 5 or freezing, so got kind of lucky with this one. This could have been a lot harder. I was going to try and get hunted for the UV. The thing is, I'm going to leave, okay? Because I, I mean, there is no, well, there's no point in surviving. I might as well just let the thing kill me. <laughs> I guess that's the more interesting thing to do. But uh, if I hadn't got UV, it still could have been, well, I don't even know. Could have been EMF5. And yes, it could have been freezing. So that's such a really kind of messed up scenario. There's a lot of things that could have been there. Oh, I got kind of lucky. It is Banshee. So we've got UV. It's dots. So we know it's not. Oh, God. You're going the wrong way. Look at this has to be different. It's so much more brighter than I ever remember it. Okay. I'm going to let him kill me. I know it's dumb, but we're on the weekly challenge. So I'm going to let him kill me and just use that as like a fast travel out of here. Unless... Oh my god. Oh my god. Unless you're not going to do that. Where's the Where's the light in here? Oh, I see it. Look at that. I had my UV on and that little fingerprint was telling me where to go. Turn this off, please. I wanted to like get killed and use that as a way of going back. Now I got to like wait again. Surely you're going to hunt soon. But we got kind of lucky. I, I would have had to have gotten hunted and then look for UV on like doors and stuff. Although, if if he's up here, oh, there's a pretty good grace period there. Wow. Did, did I block line of sight? Oh my god. You, wow. That's something you really need to know is that these really do block line of sight. He does not see me. I'm standing and he doesn't see me. Okay, there you go. Now he knows to come up here. But if you're standing, he still doesn't even see you. He only found me there because he finally came up the staircase. Alright, as long as we have Banshee in there, we're going to be getting right. And I'm not going to lose anything for dying, so I'm on the weekly. I'm just okay with, like, dying right there. Whoa. Oh, I'm still on the staircase. Yep, no screw around this time. I'm finally, like, learning the Mimic and how to figure out if it's a Mimic. And since it didn't, or it did have ghost orbs, mimics, you know, don't have that. So for sure, it was not a mimic. Okay, I want to look. There's one. So maybe this won't be too bad. I kind of was scared there, but that was only, what, 12, well, 16 minutes on recording. But that wasn't as long as I thought, so let's keep going. And it looks like there's no rain this time. Okay, good. <laughs> the weather is random. So I'm so happy to have sunrise. And look, the breaker is in that one spot that I never look for a breaker. Thank you for talking. Okay, 
Same thing as last time though, but luckily we have sunrise. So hopefully this time we don't get a ghost that's all the way up there. Since we have the breaker, oh look at, I love that sunrise. And so different than <laughs> Blood Moon for sure. Oh my god, we have a ghost in a good location. Although it might kill me. Okay, maybe we're gonna have a pretty decent round two. Uh, just turn on all my lights instead of actually looking for ghost orbs properly. Oh my god, okay. I'm so happy because I've always wanted a ghost like right in here. I don't even know if I've ever had a ghost in this bathroom. Thank you, you gave me what I wanted. Alright, let's have fun with this one. What are these noises? Please calm down. I don't even know the light switches in this place. Was that a mayor? Because it just... I turned on the one on the left, I turned on this one, turned it off, and then I turned that one on. Is it a mayor? Oh my god. Okay, like I said, the breaker's right here, so let's get a ghost in the entrance. And the main thing, I could go there to hide. And then we have all these lights, and we're not going to go too far. I could hide there, but I don't trust it. I'd like to go upstairs and then hide at least on this floor, which, hmm, that's not there. Is there a hiding spot for me up here, though? Yes, okay, if I need it, this is where I'm going. Don't need any cursed items. Let's just do this weekly. Whoa, I don't remember that mirror being there. I am so happy to have, like, an entrance ghost. Not just because we're doing the weekly, but... I really want to have a ghost, like, in this room and also the bones in here. Man, everything was at the entrance this time. I do not think I've actually had a ghost in this room. And if I did, like, I died instantly. I remember one time I came in here and, like, for some reason got insta-hunted and the, it died, like, right in here, so... Anyway, we saw the ghost orbs. Oh, you threw my camera. We thought, or maybe I just can't put it on there. I don't know. Blinky. I think it's a mare just from that one little thing it did, but anything could do that. Toss some of this stuff back in the sink. Do I see my breath yet? Oh man, I, again, I just love that sunrise. Show me those ghost orbs in here. Just to prove this is your room. Okay. Not knowing but I don't see those ghost orbs again. Oh, there they are. Oh, oh. Oh, it's just moved. You tried to move that door, but it's locked. But I still think you moved it. So I should go get UV. Let's, yeah, go get other evidence. Quick. I do th enjoy these, like, easier ones. This one could be hard, depending on, I don't know, the ghost and hmm, the weather, even. Like,. Not having temperature and then every room being cold. Not having a thermometer and then every room being cold on like snow would suck. Let's just drop this in immediately. Cover this whole room. Are you here? This is dumb. Should be looking for fingerprints, which I am not seeing on any of these things. It did touch out here too, didn't it? I am not going to be hiding in there. Nothing around here. Okay. Are you here? Thank you. Spirit box. Still no fingerprints. Now, could it be... Oh, okay. We are just rolling right through this. Dio? That would be interesting. Well, we know it's not Obake, so we're going to roll rule out UV as well. See, it's probably a mare then. I'm going to turn on this light just to make it mad. Not that it makes it mad, but, you know, in theory it would. I'm going to just go ahead and drop this spirit box. Okay, I am just kind of relieved, because we are going through this pretty quickly. I guess I brought in everything, or tested everything I brought in. We got the writing, didn't get UV. Alright, let me just get the other evidence and keep going. Yeah, with that mayor turning off the light switch, that was pretty obvious. So what would that, what, what would the other evidence be for a mayor then? Ghost, wait. We, wait, okay, we did get all of them. What didn't I put? Oh, I didn't put in Ghost Orb from the beginning. <laughs> okay, I just, uh. So, yeah, it is a mare. Pretty obviously, we saw it's kind of like hidden ability. There's like the main abilities and then there's like sub abilities. And the whole turning off a light, I think that's like a more of a sub ability. I don't know what I'm talking about, though. <laughs> like, I know this game. But all right, we know it's a mare. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to like just go in there and die. Let's get out of here and go into game three and just kind of get this weekly over with. Not that it's bad, but I like doing easier weekly. This one's a much more fun and chill weekly. So I kind of got lucky. I mean, it could have lasted longer. Let's see here. Thank you. Welcome back. I've got 
since I didn't give you V, yeah, it wasn't going to be a mimic. Okay. Two of three pretty quickly. Let's get this last one done, hopefully. Unfortunately, I hear rain. I guess we're back to heavy rain, aren't we? Breaker is in a good spot, though. Well, let's see if we get another entrance ghost. It is strange coming back to this map after the Blood Moon being gone, and that's going to be happening with the other maps, too, as soon as I come around to them. I guess I, well, I hadn't really played a lot of Bleasdale, because Grafton was the one that got edited, or, you know, Blood Moonified. So when the Blood Moon weather comes back, you know, it's not going to add all the candles and stuff, because it was only for those four maps. I assume it's just going to be the, be the Blood Moon weather outside, so, like, Point Hope won't become a... Do I hear a radio? I guess not. But I don't think the whole map would, like, the candles would come back and everything. Maybe for, like, Point Hope and the ones that were done up like that, maybe it would spawn all that stuff back in if it was a Blood Moon, but for the other maps, it's not going to do that. So I assume it's a weather. It's not really a, an event. It's just a random weather now that can happen. So that'll be fun to see when I get my first natural Blood Moon. I don't know about a cursed item. I haven't really been looking. I didn't look on the first floor for the tarot cards. I do know this tier 3 lantern does a good job of keeping your sanity up. Definitely kept it all the way when I found that first ghost. I have a weird feeling we're going to be going back up to the top of the tower again. I guess I'm not going to get lucky twice. I don't know though, we haven't found this ghost yet. Maybe it's just in one of these rooms. I don't mind the ghost being here. Like I've had a look at the ghost in this bathroom a lot, haven't I? It's always in this bathroom, not the other one. Now I guess I'm just going... Weird noises. I guess I'm going back to just using this really atmospheric... Look at that shadow. There's a really atmospheric lantern. Are you in here? Maybe I could actually ask the ghost if it's around. Now I hear that clock going off. Yeah, it's like that other clock down there. It just always goes off, but it'll chime if the ghost interacts with it. What about up here? Is anyone here? Are you here? Hmm. No, no, no one but you, I guess. And now we go into the final stages of hell. This part of the tower. I'm staying in the dark. Oh, it's kind of dumb. Oh. What is that? Is that an ambient noise? I saw my breath and I heard that, so I thought that's like something. Alright, monkey paw. Oh, I can't check UV on that. Alright, I'm okay with this room. This is anything past this I kind of hate. But right here is okay. And where did that light switch go? You touched the door. That'll be an easy way to get UV if you do it again when I come back with UV. This is... Oh. <laughs> caught that. See, if they ever add the whole recording thing, I could have, like, recorded that on camera and gotten maybe, like, bonus money for it, so hopefully they do something like that. And I'm gonna take a detour, and pretty sure somewhere it says, yeah, start filming ghost interactions. You know, so it would be cool if you could, like, hit right-click and have, like, two minutes of recording time until, like, the hard drive got filled up or something. Well, I'm not seeing any ghost orbs, and I did do a, a long check here, didn't, didn't I? Oh my god. Cursed found footage. And I didn't even see the ghost, he was only on camera. Oh, so much for keeping my sanity high. Alright, let's just go get evidence and do what I've been doing here. What are these noises? I thought he was hunting or eventing. I thought like a rocking chair was going. Unfortunately, uh, I should probably just be going back. Well, now that I have the lights on, I'll be all right. Because I have been turning on the lights pretty much every floor. But I should have gone back with my lantern, but I need four or three inventory slots, so I don't really want to waste one on a lantern. Hopefully coming through here will have kept my sanity up a little bit. No, I didn't turn it on for this floor, though. Yeah, I went in the dark that whole time. I got, like I mentioned, this. I got kind of lucky with this. I feel like it could have been a lot harder with not having smudges and not having sanity. I feel like that was the main thing I was worried about. Sanity's still pretty good. I maybe they, I want to say fixed or like nerfed Point Hope sanity drain. 
But I, even walking back there feels like it should have drained more sanity than that. I'm really surprised to have like higher end of 80s. Okay, I want to get the UV in case it touches the door. Guess we'll get dots because it's harder. And then put the writing in there and um, this time I'm going to leave spirit box behind. I'm always prepared to like spend an hour doing these weeklies. I felt like I was running or something when we run to end of the light. But I was expecting this one to take a lot longer because of the no smudges and no sanity. But we only are missing two evidence and the ghost is still giving us all three other than if you know we EMF5 but we can still see EMF5 on the board and of course we don't have freezing. So no matter what we wouldn't be able to see that. So it, it's kind of like a it's not that bad. It's you're pretty much gonna get all the evidence. All right, I'm running through these dark floors. Although I don't want to run into a ghost. We have high enough sanity. I mean, I don't know what this ghost is. It could still obliterate me. Oh, I want to turn on one of these lights. I'm gonna turn on that one. Now we are connected up here. Do you have fingerprints on here? Looks like not. I'm gonna drop this right in the middle. Hopefully you're around. I hate these noises. I think you can also bang on this. That's what's cool about, you know, uh, Point Hope and new maps is it can bring new interactions. Like, like I had mentioned the banging on the sign, you know, there's not as many ways of getting door touches or light touches, so they added n just newer ways of getting fingerprints on things, so just more dynamic ways of getting evidence is cool. Not seeing anything. I'm gonna stand here with the dots pin, I guess. The only thing I can do, I should have my spirit box and ask. Thing is, I haven't really gotten anything here. Speaking of freezing, I feel like this one might be a spree, uh, freezing. We didn't see ghost orbs. Well, that would also mean it's not a mimic if we didn't see ghost orbs. Was that flash really from the lightning out there? Jesus, I guess we did see it. Oh man, do we have other dots pins? I think I'm gonna go back down and get another, well that one's not too great. Get another pin, so that way I can like set one up there here and then still get that spirit box. And maybe look for ghost orbs. It would help if I turned the night vision on. But no, we still have the freezing breath or cold breath in here. It used to be freezing a long time ago. No, no ghost orbs. Uh, why, why did that have to be on top of me? Does that mean you want to walk? Whoa, did you write? Oh, is that what you threw? Did you? I don't, the book is gone, by the way. Oh, that was dots. Okay, no. Where did the book go? The book is gone. Look, there's a pin, like, in the floor. The book is gone. This is bad. I think I saw dots. Are you kidding me? You see this, right? That's the pencil to the book. Where did the book go? It, it must have thrown it somewhere. But I would only throw the book. Do I have to get another book in here to see? There's a paintbrush. Let's go get another book. I think I just saw dots. I'm gonna get the other dots pin, spirit box, and get another writing book in here because I don't know what happened. I mean, you see this. The pencil is in the floor of the mat. I don't know how that happened. I think that was, I don't know if that was dots again. Could have been my breath. That's why I want to get the other dots pin. But what could it be? Anything that's going to immediately kill me? Oh, Dio. That's not going to kill me, but it might scare me. And then, well, Gorio. Well, if I just saw dots, it's not going to be a Gorio. Uh, I just, this book, what happened here? Maybe I should look around. I heard it throw something, and I thought maybe that was the book, but... If, maybe the book is like under the mat. I don't know. Alright. It didn't do anything else. It didn't walk through the dots again. Let's go get the last things, and then I guess it's just gonna be a matter of time before I get hunted. Now, did you turn? How'd you turn? I don't even understand. <laughs> Here we are again, running all the way down Point Hope. <laughs> it would be cool if there was some sort of fast travel, like, back down, but I guess that would, like, make it way too easy to just run away from the ghost. Ooh, see... I don't know if that was an event, but that looks like the EMF-5. I'm going to take that into consideration that there's two, that, you know, that's the EMF-5, and that's an EMF-4, but an EMF-4 could be an EMF-5, and those two looked very 
those two look very textbook EMF5. So I'm going to keep that in mind. If it's writing, which it could be. Could it be writing and EMF5? See, that makes me think maybe it's not writing. I think it threw the writing book, and that's why it's in the floor. I don't think it wrote in the book. I don't know about dots either, so <laughs> we're still really good on sanity. So I'm going to get the other book in there, make sure I keep track of it, get the other dots pinned, and then finally look for spirit box. So in terms of ghosts that, oh well, I <laughs> I was kind of going off that I had dots, but I don't really, I think I did see dots there for a second, but you know sometimes it's hard to tell if it's your breath. But with these both both of these bins, we will see. And I'm so, oh, so surprised that I have so much sanity. Now, this book, I want to keep my eyes on it. Here's some of the light peeking through. I feel like this, this lighting is better. Maybe they redid the lighting? Maybe that's what I'm noticing, is they kind of fixed some of the lighting on this map, or redid some of it, because it looks better. Let me know if they did change something on here. I don't, I do not want to put a, the book on there. I'm going to put it like that. And then, I'll, I wish I could, oh, oh, I can, like, put it there, but I don't know if that's going to work too well. I mean, kind of, but I need to be looking this way, so that's not really the best. Is that even shining out? It kind of is. Eh, let me try one more thing. Thing. I hate this dear one dots bin. I think it's shining out though. There. Oh, it is making the little rocking horse rock. I didn't know this could. I didn't know this could move. That is so cool. All right, we do have this room littered in dots. Maybe I do need to turn off this. Are you here? Oh my God. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Spirit box. Why is the spirit box is so strange? Okay, we do have spirit box. All right, let's just turn this off. Turn this back on to save my sanity. You were doing some crazy stuff here. I do not appreciate it. Hey, I never knew that could be moved. I knew I heard some kind of rocking chair. And I also kind of thought I heard a radio at some point, but there's no way I heard it up here. Did it throw that in the garbage, by the way? Because I saw something fall off, and I think that fell off in there. Okay. You threw so much stuff, but you never touched a door. Also, that book is still there. I'm, gl I'm glad we got an evidence here. There. Okay. So I did see dots earlier. Maybe. Wraith, Phantom, or Dio? Dio is going to be easy. Photo. See, I can go get a photo of the ghost. Is Wraith going to be... Oh, nothing. Okay, calm down. Oh, I don't want to get hunted just yet. EMF5, we thought we had EMF5, UV, or ghost writing. So it's not going to be freezing, thankfully. We thought we saw EMF5, so UV or ghost writing. I think it threw this book. What does the book look like closed? That's what the book looks like closed. I bet it's closed and it's underneath this. Because it's basically just that, but underneath, I bet. So I'm going to go off the idea that it's not writing. Now, if we go with... Thank you. I really should have the photo cam up here. To try and get a photo of it. Especially with the dots. Now, we don't have salt to test if it's a wraith. All I need really is, though, is the uh, UV. If it just touches a door. Or touches the light. And I, I think it's a wraith because of the MF5. So, if we don't get UV on anything... We're just going to say it's a Wraith. I think it's a Wraith because of those two EMF5s. By the time I had walked down here, there's no way that EMF5 was from the event that had happened right as I was leaving. Maybe it was, but I don't know. It, takes, it feels like it takes so long to get down Point Hope. Now see, this is the problem. You're not doing anything for UV, even though you did touch this door. Maybe if I stand... What are these noises? I thought I heard a giggle again. I think it was just some weird ocean noise from the, uh, map. I want to stand, like, over by this in case it, like, does the dots. See, that was that noise I think I heard. But if it does the do Yes! If it does the dots! Yeah, I bet this is a wraith. And it, like, does the dots in roams to me? I was trying to get it to, like, roam over here and then, like, interact with something nearby. Yeah. It's... It's wraith. Okay. 
I am really surprised because this one ended up being kind of fun. I was really ready for it to be super hard, but either they nerfed the sanity drain or this tier 3 lantern really is good at, at uh, keeping your sanity. But maybe they've made Point Hope a little better. I mean, you, the, maybe there's patch notes I've missed. I've, I have a hard time keeping up with this game and now that patch notes are like on their website, I think I should, can try and keep track, but sometimes they change this game and I don't even realize it. Well, we have a lot of sanity. We have a monkey ball, too. I wish to see the ghost. Oh boy. I wish to see the ghost. There we go. Oh, hello, sir. Are you gonna stick your... Oh, okay. I think he sees me. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no chance of getting away. All right. Hopefully... Whoa. We have this done. I'm looking like the wrong way. I can't even see you over there. Why is it so dark? We got Wraith in though, and that's all that matters. Whoa, staring at the wall. Man, yeah, this one was fun. Like, even finding the ghost wasn't too bad. The more I play Point Hope, the more Welcome I kind of get into it. Right, I don't, I'm gonna skip, because even though, I, I kind of want to see my level go up, but we didn't get anything anyway. I'm at the point where 5,000 is basically one level anyway. So I think at level 90, is level 90 the last level? Am I really at level 87? I'm gonna look. If I remember correctly, it was the tier three crucifix is level 90. Oh my god. I Wow, I've gotten through some of these levels. I didn't realize I was unlocking so much stuff. I only have the tier three crucifixes left and the poor tripod. Oh yeah, we're making money. Eventually we'll get that tripod. And then I'm going to enjoy the tier three stuff for a while. And then maybe sometime later on, we'll, we will try prestiging again. Technically I'm prestige one, so we'll go into prestige two, but that'll be down the line. I think this holiday season I want to focus on having all the tier 3 stuff. But there's a very fun weekly challenge done. I thought that was going to take a lot longer and I think it could have depending on your luck. I got kind of lucky I feel. But it was a really nice challenge and I think on maybe other maps that one would also be fun. So I want to try that one again. But specifically on Point Hope I think that one could have been harder. But I think in the end I just kind of got off lucky. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.